welcome back to Frankie's Forest. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you my new purchase of my new Oncidium Orchid. I've been wanting one so bad for the past, uh, about a year, and I'm so happy that I finally have one. Uh, I found this one at Whole Foods. It's the only place I know that really has um, exotic orchids such as these, um, along with a wide variety of uh, different Phalaenopsis orchids. And so I'm very glad that I was able to find this. Um, they usually have orchids like these year round. Um, of course, I made sure to inspect it um, to make sure it was healthy before I got it. And although um, you may be thinking, even though I mentioned back in a previous video that it's best to uh, purchase orchids with more buds because the flowers last longer, um, for me, it's not really about the flowers. Um, and I know this might seem a little cliche, but it's more about like, the experience of actually growing the plant, taking care of it, see how it progresses. Um, with its uh, growing, with uh, the flowers um, over time. And so today I just wanted to show you guys it. Um, and so first let's just take off this wrapping because as you know, I'm not going to keep um, the wrapping on it. It just looks very unnatural. So here it is. It does seem like it might be pot round because there are a couple roots coming out the bottom. Um, but that is not the issue right now. Um, so, as for the root structure, it does look very healthy. It does look like they're using um, a nice uh, quality uh, substrate. Uh, it does seem like there's some moss growing, as well as some uh, bark chip, uh, orchid chips. As for the pseudobulbs, they do look very healthy. Um, very little wrinkles on them, although I know that is normal for them. Um, very little wrinkles. Uh, they are nice and plump uh, and firm. As for the leaves, they look very healthy. And of course, the flowers look even better. Uh, I'll let you guys take a closer look at one of these. Although you may have also seen it in the thumbnail. They do look very good under the light. So I do have some uh, requirements that I have to meet for uh, the proper care and the proper care for this orchid. Um, one of them that's very important is it requires uh, water that has low mineral content. So whether it's distilled or rainwater. Um, so I, I can totally get that. Uh, I have it right next to me actually because I'm planning to water it. It, it does look like the substrate is uh, fairly dry. It doesn't seem very damp at all. Um, so I will be watering it in this video. Uh, as for sunlight, it does like a decent amount of sunlight, of course, um, not too direct, but also um, not too uh, shaded sunlight. It does like uh, a nice amount of indirect and uh, bright sunlight. Uh, so to get on for watering, uh, and not to get distracted, but I did want to show you guys what I'm watering my plants with. And although this looks like a toy, it's much more than that. Uh, as you can see, the water right there. Uh, it is like a watering can, and it does have a lot of different features that I like about it. I just got it today. Uh, there is this uh, attachment that you can put on it. Of course, I don't really like using this attachment. I never really liked using watering cans that had that. And so a solution is to just take it off, and there you go. You have a perfectly good little spout there. It also acts as a spray bottle, as you can see. Uh, it might take a couple seconds for the water to get up there, and just like that, works very well, actually. Um, I do find that I like watering my orchids with spray bottles better than uh, just with the watering can itself, um, because I can control how much water gets into the orchid, because as you guys know, orchids do have aerial roots, and um, it's better to, uh, the aerial roots that you can get water on, uh, that are in the pot and that you don't have to spray all over the place out of the pot to get them. So I, I like using the, uh, the spray bottle, as you can see these aerial roots here, uh, just spraying them with that, even though it's not necessary. I, I just like to do it because it gives me this piece of not mind knowing that the aerial roots aren't dried out. Um, but other than that, the orchid does look very healthy and I am definitely planning to repot it very soon. Uh, make sure you stay updated for that video because uh, I have everything ready, uh, but I just wanted to make a video specifically about the orchid and about its uh, the requirements for it to live happily. Um, then I wanted to make a totally separate video for repotting so you didn't have to sit through uh, 
decade long video. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please remember to subscribe to the channel and also like this video and share it with your friends. If you know anyone who's interested in buying it on City and Orchid or has any uh, or needs any uh, information about uh, require um, care requirements and uh, so on and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.